sign. But you know him. For it rests with thee, I will be in you. Did you hear that? Jesus said, But you know him. The Holy Ghost is to be known. Is to be known. When you know him, then you are able to cooperate with him. You will not cooperate with him until you know him. It does not matter how pure, vast, with the instruction of the Holy Ghost is. If you don't know him, you will think that maybe this is just my mind. Jesus Christ is the one telling us here to know the Holy Ghost. Because Jesus himself, Jesus himself, did not see the manifestation of the word of the Lord over his life until he cooperated with the Holy Ghost. Did you get that? Jesus would not have seen the manifestation of the word of God over his life. He came to fulfill the word of God. That would not have happened if he had not cooperated with the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ himself depended on the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ himself depended on the Holy Ghost. The same Holy Spirit we have, not lesser Holy Spirit. Not as if we were given some part of the Holy Spirit. Not as if we were given maybe the gifts and the Holy Ghost is now sitting somewhere in heaven. No, no. The Holy Ghost that was in Jesus, was upon Jesus, is the same Holy Ghost in you and in me and upon us. Hallelujah. Amen. So it is possible for you and I to see results in life just like Jesus Christ. It is possible. It is possible for the Holy Ghost to do even much more because Jesus said, the works that I do, you will do and even greater works. It is possible. How? Just by cooperating with the Holy Spirit. Cooperating with the Holy Spirit. By accepting the fact that you are you are inadequate. Say with me, I am inadequate. I am inadequate. Stop believing in yourself. All oh, that nonsense. You must believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Listen to me. This is not new age movement. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Not new age movement. This 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 work of faith, guys. Without the Holy Ghost, if you like, believe in yourself from now till you die, you will amount to nothing. Did you hear me? Yes, you amount to nothing. Believe in yourself, you can do it. Listen. <laughs> Paul said, I know whom I believe. He said, I know whom, whom I, believe. I believe. Then Job said the same thing. Job said, I know my Redeemer lives. I know my belief. I have chosen, I have decided through the grace of God to believe in the Holy Spirit. Amen. I have chosen to walk with the Holy Spirit. Whether it is pleasant or pleasant, whether the condition is sweet or not sweet, all I want is the Holy Spirit. Is that your decision? He's going to lead you to that land that is fertile and large. That land that is filled with meat and honey. Remember, they did not enter the land in one day, not even 40 days, but it took them many years. Did you hear me? Yes, so, with the Holy Ghost, it might take you years. Did you hear me? Yes. With the Holy Ghost, it might take you yes. years, but I guarantee you one thing you will enter the land. Amen. Come on, say you will enter the land. Amen. So, here the scripture speaks to us, weeping and tears for a night, but joy comes Amen. in the morning. That is why it means to work with the Holy Ghost. It takes you through a process where men will laugh at you. They will scorn you. They will make you feel that you are making a mistake. They will make you look stupid. You will, be, you will even be doubting yourself. But just keep walking with the Holy Spirit. Just keep walking with who? The Holy, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Keep trusting the Holy Spirit. Keep depending on the Holy Spirit. Keep seeking the Holy Spirit. Stay in the place of fellowship with the Holy Spirit. The place of communion with the Holy Spirit. It will, your manifestation will come to pass one day. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, Are you understanding this? Yes, People of God, Jesus said, you know him. Jesus is telling all that because Jesus knew the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember in the book of Luke chapter 4, that is where Jesus stood in the temple and said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. 
because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to heal the broken hearted, on and on and on. He says upon me, he knew the Holy Ghost. He knew. In Mark chapter 3, there we see Jesus coming out of the, out of the water after being baptized by John. And the Bible says Jesus perceived, he perceived, that is the word used there, that the Holy Ghost was upon him as a dove. He perceived, he came to knowing that the Holy Ghost was now upon him. Are you understanding this? Perceived, he knew the Holy Ghost. Before that time, Jesus, there was no testimony of his ministry. Nothing about the ministry of Jesus Christ. But when he perceived a realization in knowing that the Holy Ghost was now upon him, he stepped out. The public ministry of Jesus 